Okay, so this lecture is about co-dominance and alleles, and it involves this kitty here, this Moira. She's up for adoption, and she's a calico cat. Uh, calico cats are generally female, uh, and their calico gives out these two different fur colors. They're orange and black, and it's because, uh, as you know, living things have two alleles for each gene, and for a fur color gene, uh, she has orange fur allele and black fur allele, and they're both, uh, they don't override each other, so they're co-dominant. When Laura <laughs> is uh, making fur, <laughs> growing and developing fur, uh, her body kind of picks which allele to favor, but overall it gives her this two-tone pattern. So how this is related to anthropology is that the AB blood type comes from the same process of co-dominance. Uh, for humans and blood types, uh, there are two alleles, A and B, that are dominant with each other. So if they both show up, uh, then the body's going to make red blood cells with both the A and B antigens. And O is recessive to the other, so if O shows up with A or B, it's the dominant one that's going to be used. But if A and B show up together, uh, AB blood is the result of the, those allele interactions. So these are Drake and Drex, and you can see they're orange. Uh, they don't have a two-tone calico uh, coat, yeah, but they just have one fur color allele, which is orange, and their body is using a plus or minus to have this very light orange uh, shading. Now, the calico cats happen uh, mostly with female cats because it turns out the fur color alleles are on a gene that's on the sex chromosome, the X chromosome. So females have two options, but males only inherit one of them um, from their mother. So that's why calicos are typically female. They're both guys here, Drake and Drex. <laughs> one of them is suspicious.